Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at 19041 for Windows Insiders on the fast and slow ring. Uh, welcome to this video and uh, hello to the YouTube commenters. I am going to speak more slowly on these videos. Uh, thanks for your uh, suggestion. There's not a huge amount to see with this build as uh, 20H1 is basically done now. Well, Microsoft haven't said when it's scheduled, but the build version is 2004. So that means um, 2004, the April next year. I suspect it will be out a bit sooner than that. Uh, there you can see it. I, I suspect it'll be a bit sooner than that, but uh, development is basically done now. It was going to go to release preview, I would suggest, before the end of the year or maybe beginning of the new year. And then... Um, then it'll make its way over to the general release next year. The Microsoft will start pushing out to the fast ring, uh, the next development of Windows 10. And we should see some more interesting changes with it then. So with this build, not a huge amount of changes. There's no watermark or anything like that. Now, they fixed an error, uh, an error with um, rollback errors when installing the build. I haven't had any issues installing these builds so far. But if you have had that, then you should be pleased to know that they've uh, fix that they fix an issue with some crashes when you're logging into a secondary device or when you log in a secondary account sorry so if you switch users and sign with a different user then you they fix the crashing issue with that and they fix some issues with japanese office app installs and they've also fixed the issue with win32 apps uh, having on it unexpected increased cpu usage if you leave them idle and i haven't been seeing anything like that either on there everything has been working nice on my Hyper-V install here and on my Surface Go which has also got the build installed. There are still some known issues with this build. BattleEye anti-cheat software is not working correctly. Um, been going on for some time. There's still some issues with it during the update process after installing it. It hangs for a while. Uh, again I haven't seen anything like that. And still some issues with USB 3 drives coming up with start code 10 errors after they're attached. And also the optimized drive control panel items showing um, optimization has never been run when it has been run. So those are the issues. They're actually all carried over from the previous build as well. Like I said, not a huge amount of changes. We're basically done now with 20H1. I found this really stable, working really nicely on my machines. So hopefully when the new year we'll get some new exciting developments and I'll document those. I've documented all the Windows 10 builds right back to the very first previews. You can find them on our YouTube channel. You can get me on Twitter, Ias Dixon, and on the digitallifestyle.com.